Alrighty. Happy Tech Tuesday, y'all. How are you doing? Do you guys have a good long weekend? I worked because I'm taking a vacation next month. When I turn 50, I will be on a cruise. So very excited about that. So I'm just going to work every day till my cruise. Oh. <sighs> Joanne's like, no, no, we are not. <laughs> Where are you going, Wendy? Uh, we are going to, um, uh, I guess this starts with an E. Yeah. Somewhere in Mexico. So we're like leaving from Los Angeles and going to Mexico. Encinita? Is that Encinada. Yes. Encinada. 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 Oh, I know. I'm going to be on a boat. 20 minutes south of Ensenada. I know there because I go there very often. There's uh, the wine region of Mexico. It's called Valle de Guadalupe. You have got to go there. Okay. First thing. 20 minutes south of Ensenada. <laughs> awesome. Christine, good morning. Did, did you ever go on a cruise before? No. First cruise. You're going to love it. It's like a big city on a boat. You don't feel the water. It's just amazing. You have under your door in the morning, you're going to have something that's uh, activities from like starting at like 5 a.m. till two o'clock in the morning. There's always something going on. But watch out for the food because it is nonstop, nonstop. 24 hours, Wendy. Yes. Oh, yes. And okay. drink. And drink. That's, that's why I'm going to start myself till the cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you another thing. You look like you look amazing. I was looking at you on your video and and, and the picture. Well, it's a picture that I saw of you. I said you look like you lost like another twenty pounds. No, no. You, well, I'm just saying you look great. Filter. No, I'm kidding. no, it's not a filter. <laughs> Thank no. you. I appreciate that. All right. I know it's it's hard. You know, I've been on a diet for fifty years, so I'm kind of used to it. But <laughs> anyway, I still love my sugar. Anyway, okay, but that is not what this is about today. Today is about luxury. So we are going to do a deep dive into luxury. You are going to love this. Uh, and I was waiting. I know that we did a Tech Tuesday on luxury before. So, um, uh, and then I wanted to do a follow-up one because remember how I said, this is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to do. Well, I've been doing the thing since September. That's when we had our last luxury uh, Tech Tuesday. And now I have a little bit of proof of success. So um, I put this little presentation together for you. So hopefully you guys can take notes. If you don't take good notes, don't worry. I'm going to give you something really cool at the end uh, to, um, to grab. So I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> uh, but it's going to be amazing and you're going to get a huge discount. So. Um, so I'm going to start just sharing my screen and Eon is asking how to get in. So can you help him with that, Joanna? I don't, I don't know where he is. All right. So look at, I'm lost because I don't even have a lot of windows up here. <laughs> uh, I cleared them all out when I accidentally closed my whole computer out during Get in the game this morning. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to reclaim host and I'm going to make Joanna co-host because I don't know what happened here. Make co-host. All right. Admit. There we go. I think we're all set. All right. So this is luxury. Uh, where do you start? Uh, we started and we have been working expired luxury. So we have um, we have pulled every luxury listing that expired over a million dollars from our MLS. Yes, there's also Mojo, and there's also Vulcan 7, and there's also all these different kind of programs that you could buy that do luxury expi or that do expireds, but I just don't trust everybody to be accurate. So if I'm going to spend... If I'm going to spend money on FedExing something to their house, I want to make sure they're not on the market. So we we go through the MLS old school way and pull them there, make sure they didn't go back to market. Anyway, so uh, you're going to send marketing to expired listing. You're going to make luxury videos. You're going to retarget all luxury neighborhoods. You're going to send real marketing uh, 
um, AVRs to luxury sellers. You're going to get in a luxury magazine and you're going to post luxury. So I'm going to kind of hop right into here. This is expired listings. So find them on the MLS. And we actually went all the way back two years, right? So maybe someone that tried to list a couple years ago still has not went back to market and they may want to list now. So they're still good candidates. Um, in fact, I think almost all of ours haven't been immediately. So I still work the ones that, you know, just expired, but frankly, I, I don't really love them because they hate realtors right now because they're getting 150 calls. So, um, so I think we have more success on the older ones. Um, but then you're going to create and print your luxury presentation, uh, with a QR code and you're going to, um, uh, put a luxury listing expired letter that's going to go on top. You're going to bind them all together in a hard black binder uh, that looks like this. This is my hard black binder, my favorite book ever right now. Uh, and then you're going to put them in a branded envelope that looks something like this. And you're literally going to FedEx it to their front door. It works. Uh, FedExing is like that special touch of, you know, getting it to them, not in the mail. Like some people don't even open their mail or check their mail, but if you're sitting on their doorstop, they're probably going to open it. So that is what we do. That's how it all starts. This is what it looks like. So this is what our presentation looks like. And this is what all the things look like. Yes, I have a metal business card. I also have Golden Knight schedule that goes in it. Obviously, I need an updated one because the season's over, but that's what goes in the actual folder. And then, guess what? You do need to follow up. So we send an email four days after uh, we FedEx. Then we send them a text four days after we email. I'll go over everything, like exactly what we send in just a minute. Uh, and then we call four days after we text, we set up on a market report four days after we call and we set up on HomeBot and real marketing four days after that. So that is our follow-up process. Uh, and then you want to make luxury videos. So I went into chat GPT, of course, my new brain. And I just said, Hey, I need 10, um, what did I say? Give me 10 luxury homeowner uh pain points and uh and then they gave me the pain points and then I said okay now give me a video script on each one so and when I, when I did this I actually learned quite a bit about luxury because I've never been luxury I've always been like three to five hundred thousand dollar range you know first time home buyer jeep people like this is my these are my people so these they have like different concerns you know they don't care about putting that little electrical plate you know <laughs> over the wires to pass a home inspection you know they want someone to do that like <laughs> they're not going to do that so these are totally different videos than my whole seller's tips series. So, so that's uh, what I did there. And then you want to retarget luxury neighborhoods. So uh, we post videos on all social media and run reach ads. Uh, we get names, emails, phone numbers into our CRM. And I have a complete process of how to do that. We took all 10 luxury neighborhoods here in Las Vegas. We uploaded them in uh, in our system and then synced it to follow up boss, which syncs to street text, which then you can retarget all of those neighborhoods right through street text in a luxury audience. So um, we create an audience and retarget, add videos to luxury email campaign. So when you make these videos, they're great to use for retargeting, but you also want to add them into your email campaigns because uh, when they click on it, they're going to your YouTube. If they like you, they're going to subscribe and that gets you more subscribers. That way, when you post any other videos, they're automatically going to see that you posted a video. This is real marketing. I love this report uh, because I, I don't know if you guys remember when I did luxury last time, you're like, so you're just going to send a book? 
<laughs> no, it's not that easy. You definitely don't just send a book. You have to do all the things. So we're retargeting, we're online, we're in their, you know, on their front door, we are in their mailing. Um, so this right here does get mailed out to them once a month. And it's a little market report. Uh, we have two. We have Las Vegas luxury and then we have Henderson luxury because we work in both markets. So um, so we send them the names every month of the people that we added and they send out this amazing report uh, and it's four page, uh, really good quality. And they let you um, feature the proper, your properties on there. So I also take this to my listing presentation so that I can show sellers, you know, you'll be featured on here. You're going to be, you know, uh, in over a thousand people's mailbox, you know, of elite home sellers. Maybe they want to buy, you know, your high rise, whatever. Uh, so, so um, anyway, so this is a really good piece. I love it. And there's nothing I need to do. We just send them the, e the emails or I mean the addresses and then they do it. Uh, we actually did also um, buy into a luxury magazine. So uh, this is going to be something just for Las Vegas. But if you have a luxury magazine in your area, you may want to get into it just because I was trying to think, you know, where should I be everywhere luxury? So this is one of them. And they give me a four page spread to feature my properties. So um, the last one we just made has my four page $12 million listing on it. And guess what? I'm taking that luxury magazine to my next listing to show them, right? That this is what we do. And this magazine gets dispersed to all 10 luxury neighborhoods in Las Vegas. So I love that. And if you can find something like that in your area, it will really help you. Uh, I mean, I love digital marketing, but um, luxury home sellers, they love print marketing too. So, uh, and then you want to get a luxury website. Um, I love KB Core because it's free. But when I decided to join luxury, um, it didn't really look luxury to me. So I did sign up with Luxury Presence and they they did this for me. It's beautiful and um, you should probably have something like that. And then you want to get an amazing visual marketing partner. Mine is Ian Jones. He is amazing. And he does all my, all my videos, my pictures. He has an amazing website that we're going to talk about in a minute. But I truly believe that, um, that doing video on your properties and being in your video talking about your properties is telling the story about the home. So when I go into these listings, I'm not even kidding. Almost half of them don't even have a property video. So I'm like, okay. And if they do... I'm showing the homeowner that, you know, your home has been on for a year. You had 1600 views on YouTube. YouTube is tied to Google. So when they Google your address, they should definitely be seeing your video, right? And, you know, that's not very many views. I've only been um, marketing Snow White for um, two months and we have over 360,000 views. So when I can say that to a homeowner, which you will too, because... Um, because it's a thing. You got to put money behind your ads, behind your um, videos, because that's what's going to get you the most exposure possible. Uh, and, you know, it's worth it. I think we've spent $600 uh, on YouTube ads for this property to get that many. That's not very much. Not considering I'm, I can make $360,000 in commission. So, you know what I mean? Uh, everybody kind of freaks out about the price, but think about what we're going to make when we sell it. So this one actually just sold. We had about 150,000 views on it uh, before it sold. This one is in Lake Las Vegas. This one just sold too. So, um, so yeah, I, I just love, I love having a partner that makes me look great <laughs> and is super patient with me because it is hard to be on the video. I'm not going to lie. Uh, a lot of uh, videographers won't even let you be on the video because we are a pain in the ass. <laughs> but, you know, and I feel bad that I have more bloopers than real stuff that we can use. So they sift through all of my craziness to get it to look beautiful. And so that's really important to find someone in your area 
That's amazing. Okay, and then you want to get a property website. This is one of my property websites uh, that Eon Jones also does. So if you are not in this area, but you have video and pictures, you can actually order this. It's only $99 per property and it's for a whole year. So um, I'll take you through exactly what it looks like um, when we get to my Notion page. But it's pretty awesome. And when you take this to a listing appointment and say, your luxury listing is going to be featured on a page like this, and we're going to be able to highlight so much more, uh, you know, because there's there's so many details to these properties. It's not like listing your three bedroom, two bath, two car garage home, you know, <laughs> so you want to be able to highlight everything. And then you want to post luxury content. So home tours, number one. Number one thing you should do is home tours. And if you don't have luxury listings, who cares? Go to a new home builder that is building, you know, amazing homes and just do little home tours, just a little pano, stitch it together. Next week, we're going to be talking about vertical video. So I'm going to show you exactly how to stitch those videos together uh, to get your little home tour reels. But when you start doing that and, um, and, uh, you know, posting to luxury, luxury, oh, another luxury home. You know, this is what you get for $4 million. This is what you get. People start to see you as luxury. Oh, that's that luxury realtor. That's that luxury realtor. Even though I didn't have any listings, people were thinking I had listings. So it's all about, you know, perception is reality, whatever they say. But anyway, uh, luxury events, you can uh, go to luxury events or advertise luxury events, things to do. Like what, what do they do? You know, do they go to spas? Do they, you know, what do they do? You can like uh, make little videos about that going into their businesses. Companies that service luxury homeowners. We already talked about that in the last luxury one. We, people named so many different people that they use like to take care of their home or to take care of their food or to take care, you know what I mean? So you can always do, you know, posts about that. And then uh, luxury homeowner mindset, words on screen. So if you have like a nice piano of an amazing home, uh, you know, go in. We did this a uh, couple weeks ago when we talked about seller mindset and it gave quotes to help, you know, sellers realize, you know, that um, selling would be a beautiful thing, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so those are all things that you can post for content. And then this is my proof of success in just eight months. Wow. So I have been in the three to $500,000 range, right? For almost 20 years. And I didn't think I could get here. But when, um, when I was introduced to eXp Luxury and all of their tools, I was like, oh my God, I already treat all my sellers like luxury, right? We already do amazing pictures and video and marketing, I already spend money behind my ads. Why would I not, you know, hit a higher price point and make more money? So, so I did, I decided to pull the trigger and do it. And this is what's happened in the last eight months. So not too bad, right? Excellent. Yeah. All right. So we are going to hop out of here and hop into here. So what I did, I have about five agents on my team that are also EXP Luxury. So um, I'll answer all your questions as soon as I'm through here, because you might, I might be covering your, your question right here. So I put together this step-by-step -step process of exactly what we've been doing. So um, because yes, I can go through that presentation and it makes it sound so easy, but it's not. So we uh, have a step-by-step -step, um, right here, including the binding machine. So this is the thermobind. This is a link to the binding machine that we use to put our folders together. This is the hard black book that you can buy, the steel books um, with your brand on it. And that's the link to them. This is the FedEx padded envelopes, the white ones I was telling you about that you can put your brand on. This is the shimmer card stock for the letter and the back page. So um, you'll get about 500 sheets of those. So that lasts for about 250 bucks. And then uh, here is the expired letter template. So you just put your stuff in, take my stuff out. And then this is the, um, the last page. 
And the last page is basically just, um, you know, a QR code going to my luxury website, just in case they want to shop for homes. Plus they can see what my houses look like on my luxury website uh, to give them a, more of a visual. But anyway, this is the presentation and, and this is uh, everything that goes in it, like we talked about. So as far as the follow-up process goes, um, we have the email that goes out to them, the video that goes in the email so you can make your own, right? And then um, my calendar link for them to book. This is the text, like it's super simple. I just take a picture of the book and say, I just want to make sure you received my package via FedEx about your property at blah, blah, blah. I know you're probably super sick of realtors right now, but I would love to have a conversation with you about how I can help you get your price and maybe more. And when you got the real estate boss with the XP luxury. So that's the text that goes out. And then after the text, Sarah calls because she is amazing. And um, uh, she tries to land an appointment that way. We also set them up on a market report and then home bought. So that's the follow-up process. This is all about making the luxury videos. So you'll have copies of all of my videos. You'll even have this glass Chrome extension that is free that can extract <laughs> the script right out of my videos. You're welcome. And then the luxury video thumbnail. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for the team. Yes. Oh, okay. So um, Okay, so uh, this is how I retarget expireds and all luxury neighborhoods. So these are the things that you're gonna need. And these are the video trainings of exactly how to do it. So uh, I have that in there. And then you wanna get your marketing materials ready. So that was uh, one of my first mistakes uh, was I sent this amazing book out, right? And then, as soon as they raised their hand and said, yes, I want to meet with you, I sent this book out, which is my pre-listing guide, uh, which kind of shows them everything that they, that everything that I do, right? So uh, this is a little bit about me. This is me and my team. Uh, talks about our team uh, stats, my commitment, uh, the luxury uh, home selling process, 12 steps sold your home, marketing your home. It talks about our print marketing, talks about our digital marketing, and it talks about luxury marketing. Like this is everything that EXP Luxury does. And then um, pricing strategy gives them a couple of pages for them to fill out uh, just in case they have like some improvements, how much those improvements cost, you know, maybe average utilities, selling experience in the past, next steps, and then resources. So I give them all of my people, you know, in case they need to get their home ready. So, and then client testimonials, here's my review. So this goes out to them as soon as they raise their hand. Um, so when I got to the listing appointment, I was like, shit, I have nothing to give them, right? So that is important because they want to feel and touch things, right? So so I learned that I needed to get something like that. And um, I didn't have any luxury listings. So I went to Eon and I bought some luxury home pictures <laughs> and I made my own, you know? So it, it basically said, your or one, two, three, your luxury home, Las Vegas, Nevada. And then I, I, I ordered like 25 of them through EXP Luxury, soft touch four page brochures. You know, and I was like, okay, these are the type of brochures that we send out to your neighbors, the ones that we have in your home, you know, so our marketing is a little different, you know, so I like to have that. We have a light version and a dark version. And then uh, I did some of the long postcards uh, in the light and the dark versions. And then EXP Luxury has an amazing marketing plan um, that you can customize and make your own. But here is my Canva social proof. So like this is my new piece that's landing me listing. So if you know how to properly digitally market your home, um, you can create one of these, right? And it shows your ads, you know, your costs, the views, 
And then you can show them, oh, yeah, we have over 300 views, 300,000 views on our Snow White and over 137. These are a little outdated, but you get the gist. Like when I can show them the numbers, you know, that's that's huge. That's huge. And then when you show them Zillow, oh, look, there was 1,800 views there and 1,600 views there. Like Zillow don't have shit on what we do for marketing. Obviously, you don't want to say that, but this kind of explains it. So this one has worked really well. And if you don't have those numbers yet, that is what VIP is for. Hop into Tech Tuesday VIP and I'll help you run ads uh, on YouTube, on Facebook, whatever. So um, anyway, so there's that. This is our can, uh, Canva template for our CMA, for our net sheet, for our tiered commission. Uh, this is another one saying I have buyers in this price point. That's going to be the first email I send out as soon as you give me the green light and then a Y list with me. So now I have things to show with them, which makes me happy. So uh, anyway, you want to get your materials ready before people start saying, yes, I want to meet with you. So um, uh, and then uh, this is the real marketing report there. And I have a link right here to sign up. You can either do like whole communities. Or you could do like we're doing. And we're just doing our expireds. We're building the list. Every week we do 13. And it's not because 13 is our lucky number. It's because our printer will not print anything under $50. <laughs> and it takes 13 books to spend $50 at his shop. So that's why we do 13 a week. 13 a week since September has brought us those results. So uh, this is uh, getting into the luxury magazine. This is getting uh, your luxury website. So this is what the website actually looks like. Dion did this amazing 30 second video uh, that I could put behind it to kind of, you know, resonate with people better. Um, and he threw in a couple like luxury homes, kitchens. Yep everything. So anyway, do something like that because people are super impressed with this website. So there's that. And then there's the link uh, to actually um, meet with my rep right there. And then you want to have the best property website. This is the one I was telling you about. Uh, you can order it right here. Um, but this one, this is where uh, you'll just feature the property. Right. So if you scroll down, it gives all the information about the property. And this is where you can bullet point all the features. And sellers love that because they think, you know, and, and it's not it's not that they think they know their home has so many features. They want to make sure that you are talking about everything. So um, you can have your printable flyers there. I did a little um, Mount Charleston landing page there that he put on. Um, and then all of the pictures, floor plans, everything. So this is the property website, and this is the one that's $99. Uh, so you can order that for any of your listings. And then posting on social media. Uh, I gave you a list of everything you need to post on social media, but I did create some reels that have like um, video behind them that have, you know, little, um, you know, selling your home. Uh, think of it as passing on happiness to the next family, blah, blah, blah. This is the things I was talking about. So I put all of these in here so you could just take my logo out or put yours in or keep it on EXP Luxury if you want to join my team. Just saying. Okay. So anyway, so I have a whole bunch of different reels uh, there that you can pull from. And then I also have in this page, EXP Luxury Resources Explained. We have so many resources here at EXP Luxury. That's why I said I when I joined, I was like, oh my God, these guys are going to make me look luxury. And they do. So just having those is amazing. And then I did a video how to create an EXP Luxury presentation. So you can use this at any brokerage. Um, but just saying this presentation works so good. So, um, but I'm sure you have an amazing listing presentation that you could totally throw in this book as well. But um, this is what we've been doing and this is what's been working. So, Adrian, you got a question? Mm -mm. 
Yes, I do. I have a couple. Okay. Um, who does your real marketing report? So it's called real marketing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's so, easy. Yeah. Um, so they're called real marketing. And yeah, I have a link in there to sign up. Um, my guy is, um, hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, real marketing, Alvin. Alvin is his name. So okay. uh, that's who you'll be meeting with. He's amazing. No, okay. And what do I you put use? it in the chat, the link okay. to it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. What do you use for um to get the emails from your luxury clients? Okay, we use white pages. So if you have uh like Mojo, you know, remember how I did the neighborhood poll? That mm -hmm. actually pulled phone numbers and emails. Okay. Um, but, but we found that white pages is just so much, it's so much more accurate, but Vulcan seven, you could do that. You know, um, uh, what is that other expired one? Um, uh, it's, um, uh, red X, red, red X, X, right. Yeah. So you can use those, those pull them, uh, that them.com is free if you don't want to pay for something, but I feel like white we've had way more success and accuracy with whitepages.com. Okay, and I had a, I have a suggestion for you, uh, since, uh, you know, it's in line with luxury properties. It's not necessarily expired, but being, you know, in that market, what I have done lately is looked for high income rentals that are about to expire. And since we don't have inventory, then you can tackle those clients. That's a good idea. And they probably have been on the market before. Right. So it's like the ten, twelve thousand dollar properties where rental is concerned it will expire in the next three months. You call them, you say, you know, the market is like dying for properties. Are you willing to sell? So yeah, just no, thought I'd put awesome. that out there. Yeah, no, very good. I know. And we're we're actually uh looking at branching out into uh just targeting luxury neighborhoods that have a higher score. Of selling, mm -hmm. so we have we have a plan in place that I'll be talking to you about later this month. <laughs> but we are going to uh, exhaust the expired list. <laughs> okay. So, well, thank you very much. Thank you're you. welcome, Sheila. Good morning. You have a question? Yeah. So I I heard you say you use HomeBot for the um, home analysis that you send. Yes. Why not? Why not use KV Core since is one better than the other in terms of the market report? Not the market report, but the ABM. Right. So you can actually use anything that you want um, as long as you're staying in touch with them and keeping them updated on their value once a month. Like it's all about just giving value. Uh, Homebot does have a couple other extra things uh, that is in their system that uh exp um kb core does not uh but i kind of feel like as long as you're staying in front of them every 30 days and if the value is wrong they're gonna reach out and that's just an opportunity to talk to them so, so you think okay so home, you feel homebox better than kb core uh kind of i mean i mean yes 100 but if you don't want to pay for something KB Core is free, so feel free to set them up on that because they do have a home valuation there. Okay. Yeah. Angel, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so my first question was, um, it's already been asked, how do you get the contact information? My next question is, do you have a FedEx business account? Yes. Set up? Yes. And does that get you anything or is there... Any benefits to having that? Do you just do your label and everything at home or or what does that get you? No, no. So I have a FedEx business and it's cheaper when you set up a business than if you just went in and said, I want to send this via FedEx. So um, and then the cool thing is, is that I just take the 13 packages, take them right to my FedEx office and they're like, thank you, Miss Wendy. We'll get these out for you today. Otherwise, you are dealing with, you know, um, going through each one. Yes. It, it's really a pain and it takes so long. So get that set up first. 
and then uh and then just you know make friends with your local FedEx office and it's super easy I just literally take them down there drop them off and they're like thank you and then we get how much we get emails that they're going out excellent how much is each one individually like to mail so they're around 10 bucks so I have figured I have figured that um the envelope the book all the printing the FedEx Everything all put together is $25 a book, $25 a package. So I feel like that is a really good value um, considering what we could end up making. Right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun with that. I know you're diving in. So yay. Linda, good morning. You have a question? Hello, Miss Wendy. Uh, yes, I have it. Um, a question about just expires in, in general. Um, I think you're, what the difference you make is you're saying your marketing is different, but I'm wondering, um, uh, this is why I never have gone out uh, expires, but um, so are you, why didn't their home sell in the first place? And then, so you bring to them that your marketing will be different and that's how you'll sell the house. Is that the pitch? I, I know you say you show them the numbers, but I don't have those kind of numbers. So I'm just wondering. Right. So the thing is, is I didn't have those numbers either until I started getting the listing. Right. So, I mean, I had some numbers um, from my past, but it was like just 56,000 views. And I know that seems like a lot to some people, but it's nothing compared to now that I know what I'm doing. But anyway, so, um, so the thing is, is if you could talk to them and be like, you know, especially if you look up their property, do your homework before you meet with them. Did they have a video? When you Googled it, what came up? You know, look at the marketing, look at their pictures, you know, so you'll know exactly like if it was price or if it was marketing. Um, but yes, mainly I go in and I'm just like, I'm like, well, I'm a little different because I put money behind my ad. I can see from your past marketing, they did not because their numbers look like this. And you don't even have to say what your numbers are. Just be like, you know, we I have paid $25,000 to learn how to properly digitally market. So I'm really good at what I do, you know, and I'm going to get the most eyes possible. And I'm going to do a video that's literally going to tell the story of your home. And when you say that, they're like, ah. <laughs> so, so nobody probably has ever said that to them. You know, they said, oh, I'm going to have amazing pictures and I'm going to post it all over social media. But a lot of these places, like they don't even have Facebook. Like a lot of these people don't even have a Facebook. So I, I talk a little bit about Facebook marketing, but more on YouTube because YouTube is tied to Google and they know Google. They know YouTube. And, you know, when I can run ads in different countries on YouTube, about their $12 million property, because that might be where our next buyer is, you know, that's going to resonate with them. So you just kind of, kind of tell them, you know, this is what you're going to do. And then if they, you know, give you the opportunity, then you just do it. And then you show proof every Friday, every Friday, you send them the numbers. Like, this is what your property looks like. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing everything I said I promised I would do. And if it doesn't sell, then we know it's the price. It's not your marketing. Or maybe their house is just not pretty. And not everybody wants it. So those are like a couple things of why it doesn't sell. Turbo bill, price, location, and marketing. So, but tell them, you know, it won't be because of marketing. But, you know, I always say, you know, heck, you want you want twelve million dollars? The more you make, the more I make. Let's go. If we don't get it, we're gonna need to redo because it won't be about my marketing and it won't be about your amazing home. It'll be about the price, you know. And they're like, okay, you know. So it's it's fun, and they're not they're not as bad as I thought. I had a little story in my head about luxury home sellers being mean. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually super cool. <laughs> uh, the last one I got, which is 11.7 million, used to be Michael Jackson's house. They, I walked into their conference room. They have their own conference room in this house. And they both had little cups of McDonald's coffee. And I was like, wow, that's why the rich, they don't spend money on Starbucks. 
<laughs> I didn't even get a McDonald's. Anyway, no, but but I mean, they're just real. They're real people, and and they're actually pretty awesome to work with as far as numbers go. You know, when you work with people in the four hundred thousand dollar range, they are counting on every freaking cent, right? And that's why they fight with you about commission. Right. If you show your value to these homeowners, they're like, OK, whatever you want, let's go. <laughs> you know, so Patricia, you have a question. Yes, how uh, can um, I become a luxury agent? How do you what? How I get uh, how I become a um, XP luxury. Oh, you just, okay, so for EXP Luxury, you're already at EXP, so that's step one. Uh, step two is you either need three um, million dollar listings um, in the last 12 months, or, or you can get certified. So go through the certification program, and then they'll get you luxury certified, and then you can join uh, EXP Luxury. Okay. All right, but yeah, you can uh, hop into office hours later and I can walk you through it if you want. It's 2,500 a year for, to be EXP luxury. But they do all the marketing. You can have up to 10 luxury listings at one time and they are marketing it to all those amazing platforms plus running 80 plus ads to over a hundred countries. That is huge, right? And when you can tell that to a seller, guess what? They're like, oh, all right. So Chris, you have a question? I do. Um, one was, uh, as far as your YouTube ads um, uh, that you do the classes in and the VIP uh, um, classes that you offer, um, are those going to be coming up or are those previous classes? And if we do join, uh, do we have access to previous classes that you've done? Yes, you do. So we have a Tech Tuesday VIP group where all the recordings are put in there. And okay. I help people with YouTube all the time. So like if you already have your video up on YouTube, I can hop into your computer and help you start your first ad, get that rolling. Um, awesome. And there's a couple different ads you can run. So I'll talk to you about that too. Okay. And then when I looked at the link that you had for how to sign up for the VIP, I didn't see a link like to actually join it. It was just like a page and then it would have like the Facebook pages and your Instagram, but I didn't see a link there. Okay, so uh, the VIP link to join um, right after this call should have uh, popped up. So it should have popped up. If not, Joanne will send that to you immediately. Okay, um, perfect. But yeah, so there's a couple different links she's been throwing in the chat. One is VIP and one is for my Notion pages. Yep. So if, if you do decide you want that Notion page, it's huh. amazing. Uh, use the TT to get 25% off for your discount. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Jackie, good morning. Good morning. So you have all your print items printed up. Then once you get it, you do all the binding and everything in your leather cover, correct? Yes, I know. Okay. It's not $400 an hour work, but... I'm like, I want to make sure they're perfect. So it's so easy to put the wrong letter on the wrong package and put it in the, you know, the envelope. So sometimes they don't live at that house. It's a mailing, you know, different mailing address. So yes, you can train someone to do it, which I'll probably be having Joanne take over this someday. But uh, she actually pulls up all the listings, figures out what doesn't go to market. She creates all the presentations for me and sends them to the printer. Then the printer delivers them to me. And then I put all the books together. I bind them. I put them in the envelope. I get them to FedEx. That's my job. So, and- I just wanted to know the process. Yeah. Because um, I'm okay with doing it myself. I'm, I'm okay with that. But I just wanted to make sure that I, I was clear on what you guys do. Yep, exactly. That's what we do. We kind of split it up and she does the first part. I do the second part. And then and then we have an action plan in follow-up box that goes through all the next steps, kind of what I went through in the notion. So awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How exciting. So does anybody else have any questions? I saw some things in the chat, but I'm not sure. Oh, good. Avia Media Group is amazing. Deanne just gave 
uh, Eon a shout out. Um, he is, he's great. If you wanna take a closer peek at that, we can definitely do that. We have a little bit of time left. So if I go back into uh, here, this is my back end office. So when you pay for a property website like that, uh, you're also going to get a marketing kit. So this would be uh, the marketing kit uh, for for your listing. And it comes with, I think we we did a whole Tech Tuesday on this, so you guys might remember this, but um, you can choose the site themes, uh, super easy to do. You get a whole bunch of video posts about your listing um, uh, for reels, for stories, just sold, open houses, like it's super easy to use. And then here's even more stories and reels. Uh, some of them are just about you. Some of them are about your property. But you have enough content here to get you through 30 days of posting. So uh, there's a special slideshows that you could set up, uh, landscape posts, square posts. So you have all of this um, uh, right here uh, at your fingertips. And then if you want to take a quick peek at EXP luxury stuff, uh, we have a little, a little uh, landing page for luxury, and this is where. So this is what I this is what I really like is um, if you go to my listings, manage listings. Um, we want to go right here. Listing overview. So this is uh, EXP Luxury. Remember how I said they're going to um, syndicate to all these different websites? Well, this is uh, something you can send to the seller. Uh, so this is kind of looks like the book we sent out, but this is the actual thing that you're going to send the seller once it's live. So you're going to be able to go to the Wall Street Journal and they're going to be able to click on it and see their home on the market on the Wall Street Journal live. OK, so so there's that. And then you can also see it live in the raw report. Unique Homes, Mansion Global, Upmarket, Market Watch, Barron's, James Edition, Luxury Estate, and then the international advertising to over 100 countries. So um, anyway, so they love it. They love seeing this stuff um, and being able to be a part of your marketing. So I do love that um, as far as this goes, that was my listings. You can go into the design center. This has a whole bunch of different, um, these are where my favorite brochures are right here. See how this one said, one, two, three, your luxury home, Las Vegas, Henderson, right there. That's what I did to get started because that's all you need. It's just to show them something. Um, but they have stories also there. They have door hangers. Um, the marketing, the marketing plan, you just go in and you can uh, edit this marketing plan to uh, your pictures and stuff about you. They make it really easy to edit and then you can just uh, send it to print. But this is the one that I actually take to the appointment. And this is taking forever. There we go. So, um, so this is what the future of luxury a little bit about me, luxury marketing, client testimonials, why EXP Luxury it talks about our global exposure, um, our global reach, our marketing, property marketing, um, our digital marketing, luxury advertising. It talks about all the different sites that we do and our technology, how we use technology, uh, social presence digital marketing, print marketing. So anyway, that's that's the presentation that they give you. So it's kind of cool because you have all this stuff. Uh, so there's a lot more in the design center. This is the presentation creator. 
super easy to use. So we literally just put the address in there. We do a screenshot of, of the expired luxury and then it spits out this amazing presentation and this is what we send to our printer. So this, this takes like, you know, a couple seconds to make, less than a minute. And then you have this amazing presentation to put in your book. So um, like I said, I'm in love with this product. So anyway, this is what it looks like when you put it in the book. What um, cool is what product product is that? Are? EXP what? Luxury? Yes, EXP Luxury. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this is our preferred vendors, learning and growth, logo and brand. This is our luxury brand store. Uh, so you can uh, order uh, drinkware, headwear, stationery, if you want any swag. Um, and then if I go back to the design center, uh, what time is it, Joanne? You have 10 minutes. Okay, cool. So marketing materials guide. These are the files, uh, edible files, marketing files. A uh, luxury attraction suite. So we can actually attract agents with EXP luxury because people want to hit that higher price point and we just have a great product. So if you want to talk to me about that, we definitely can. But here's uh, the mailers and the property uh, brochures. Um, here's uh, business cards, door hangers, email signature, uh, gold foil business cards. I love these. These are the dark, the black ones and the white ones, and they have the gold trim all around it. So those are really pretty. Yes, I have metal business cards because I like to be different, but those are really cool. Um, and then we have letterhead, uh, signature, um, signs, uh, Zoom backgrounds. Look at all those cool Zoom backgrounds and then social media banners. Uh, and then of course, you have newsletters. We have newsletters. I like that, uh, that you can uh, create right in here and send out to your database, social media posts. These are all the different um, social media posts that are already branded for you. I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. This is a great luxury uh, buyer's guide uh, that they just put in there. Uh, open house assets, how-to videos, all the good stuff. So Anyway, that's a little look of what EXP Luxury has, but then you also get me that can help you with all of it. <laughs> so uh, any any other questions in the chat that we missed? I think I kept up with them, I hope. Okay, all right. Anybody have any other questions they wanna um, Question. ask? Okay. I love everything that you have. I am curious, how many people do you have working for you to get all this done? Because I feel like a little overwhelmed. So I'm wondering like what, how big me, your team Me and is. my sister. My sister is my assistant. Uh, so like I said, she takes care of the first part. I take care of the second part. Our follow-up boss is automated to run as soon as Joanna, uh, you know, puts the action plan in place. Um, so... So yeah, it's basically just me and her. And then of course I have Eon, uh, which helps me, you know, with all of the photography, video, it's social media stuff. So um and then so. do you do all your posting and everything, or you were Joanne? I do. Okay. And how many hours a day do you work? Sorry, this is probably like <laughs> well, I do wake up at three. So if you want to shadow me, get up pretty what early. Time? Now, what time do you go to I bed? My husband is in road construction, so that's why I wake up so early. And I think uh, having me time to take care of myself is super important. So I wake up before the world does uh, so that I can do the things. But um, I I don't even make sense at 7.30 p.m. So, yeah, we usually stop working about 6. Um, Joanne, when do you start working? Like 8? 8, 8 a.m.? I started around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Yeah, so I'm usually working I mean, until about it's a four normal or five. work day, but you gotta make sure that you're doing the things, you know. So we have everything in a calendar. We have, you know, Joanna works on all of the expired on Mondays, right? Because she needs to get them to the printer by Tuesday, so they could get them to me by Wednesday. Because I need to get them out before Friday, because FedEx is closed on Saturday. So like, it is a 
and we want to get them out as soon as possible because they may go back to market, right? So you want to make sure you're, she's checking everything on Monday, making sure they didn't go to market. I don't want to spend $25 if they were already on market, you know, and sometimes, sometimes they do, they end up going back to market, you know, in the meantime, but you know, they're like, oh my God, this is great. I wish we would have saw this before we listed our agent. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, just keep it handy. We've had some people say, oh my God, this book is so great. We're going to keep it on our mantle until it's time to sell again. <laughs> So we've had great responses. Yesterday was my favorite. Uh, they said that my metal business card cut them. <laughs> and they're going to sue me. <laughs> and I was like, uh, but I mean, it was it was actually a great intro. He says, yes, we got your package. It was amazing. Uh, and he goes, I would like to see analytics to see for myself if you are the boss. <laughs> and then he said, and your metal business card cut me. I'm going to sue you. And Joanne sends this screenshot to me. And I was like, oh crap. Okay. He's probably kidding. I would hope he's kidding. So I screenshotted the analytics to Snow White to show him we have over 360,000 views on our video. I said, so here's that. I said, here's a link to watch the video. You know, so I sent him that. I said, and I'd love to tell you more about it. And I'll even bring you a band aid. <laughs> I can't believe I said that, but he loved it. He loved that I had a sense of humor and that I could take a joke. <laughs> and my husband's like, oh my God, he's being an asshole. Don't respond. I'm like, I'm responding. I'm so responding. I have to respond. This is funny. Anyway, so I was like, either I'm getting sued or I'm getting a listing. I don't know. <laughs> So anyway, he said, uh, they're going to try to go Visbo. They're going to try to go Visbo, but I'm on his list if it doesn't succeed. I'm like, okay, that's fair enough. So anyway, um, but yeah, we get a lot of good conversations just from that text, sending that picture. Because you want to send the picture because they've already gotten how many realtors, you know, blowing up their phone. So, hey, we were the ones that FedEx this to your front door, you know. So anyway, you should send him a band, uh, a thing of band aids anyway, <laughs> a box of band aids. <laughs> I even put the band aid emoji on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send him a box of band. <laughs> oh my gosh, a, a first aid kit. I'll just send him a first aid kit. Um, even better, first aid kit. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you guys. You're amazing. Thank you for being here. I'm super glad that I was able to come back eight months later and show you that it does work. Um, so hopefully you guys can dive into it and then share your success with me. So, all right, I got to hop into the VIP room. So if you're signed up for VIP, I'll see you there. If not, next week is all about vertical video. So we're going to learn about vertical video, posting, stitching together videos in InShot, um, making them swirl around and add music and all the good stuff. So see you there. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye guys. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you.